Over the past couple months, we've had plenty of like content creators and leakers and data miners and all this stuff talking about all the potential signs that are leading towards an operation coming out uh, sometime for Counter-Strike 2. Uh, obviously, some people are saying, hey, a couple months ago, maybe a couple months in the future, maybe late 2024, maybe early 2025, whatever. But as uh, the time kind of continues to pass, it's got more and more people wondering, is an operation ever coming out in CS2? Again, this isn't CSGO 2, this isn't CSGO Part 2, whatever. They don't have to do the same stuff they did previously. Um, our operation a thing of the past or is an operation ever coming out in CS2? Um, that's a little bit of what I want to talk about today as well as uh, covering some uh, other the latest information updates we have from the Counter-Strike 2 world and community. So hopefully this should be a fun one. Um, of course, first, I want to mention real quick, if you are looking to sell any of your CS2 items and turn them into cold hard cash or crypto or any other payment method, you should definitely hit me up over on Twitter. It's going to be the first link in the description below. We're buying pretty much anything and everything for the right price. You can see here on the screen tons of stuff I bought recently from stickers to guns to knives to agents to patches, uh, whatever cases uh whatever you have we can probably work out a deal uh and i would love that obviously it helps support me on channel on content so that'd be cool with that being said let's get right into this video today so i want to start off by talking about this video from gabe follower he uh is you know one of these data miner leaker guys and he uh, he tweets a lot about stuff and, and puts out a lot of this information but then makes youtube videos um where he compiles a lot of the stuff that he's found like over the last month or couple weeks or whatever uh, and he recently put out a new video and i always like to just kind of scroll through those and scrub through them and uh, kind of see what we can find and hopefully pick out the key and big part parts for you guys. Um, he says new content coming to Counter Strike 2, small anti cheat improvements, and explanation of the Half Life 3 leak. So you know some stuff relevant to CS2, some stuff not. It's like a six minute video, and I think there's actually some pretty cool stuff in here. So. First up is actually the evidence of keychains, and people continue to talk about this. We can see here um, we do have the uh, CCS2 Econ Node keychain kit added, and a lot of people have been talking about the keychains um, lately because obviously this would be some of the newest content added to CS2, some of the uh, big first really, really different content in CS2 that we didn't have um, in CSGO. Obviously, we did very recently get zoo skins, which is like this big new thing, and um, something we previously didn't have in CSGO and, and whatever, but uh, keychains could come and it could be this very, very polarizing and divisive thing. I know I've seen a lot of contents and, and tweets and, and social media posts about some people who are really excited about the idea of keychains, uh, partly because I think they're just excited for some kind of new content or they like them or just, you know, are open minded to them. And there's a lot of people that are saying, hey, uh, keychains are stupid. Uh, they're a Valorant ass thing. They're a Call of Duty ass thing. They're just pointless. They're dumb, whatever. Um, I think I kind of lean more towards the side of that they're pointless and kind of clutter on the screen. I don't know. I think keychains could be cool and could be effective if Valve um, actually wanted to implement them as some kind of like rare, collectible, cool item. Um, but I think it seeming more like Valve wants to go the direction of them being like this mass kind of produced item where um, they're just trying to make some money off this thing off of some extra clutter and BS on the screen and if keychain just becomes something that are easily accessible and everybody has them and whatever they're like you know a dollar and they just all kind of all look like trash um, then I don't really want that I don't really care for that I, I think they look stupid I don't really think they look that cool in game sometimes they're fun to like wiggle around like in Valorant or Call of Duty or whatever but um, yeah I mean 99% of the time I don't even think I would be able to tell you that I had a uh uh, keychain equipped in any of those games so I don't know I don't really think they're going to be this huge money maker for them I don't really think they're going to be anything that crazy but again like I said if there are some rare ones some collectible ones some interesting ones if you saw some one on somebody's gun and were like damn that's sick that you actually have that that could be cool but I just don't really see that being the case especially when you can see kind of where this is included in all of this. You can see it's uh, included like around sprays and paint kits and music kits and then keychains there. Like, you know, that's a ton of items that are just these mass produced, uh, you know, like graffitis and music kits and stuff that are easily to get your hands on. You know, there's there's not like any music kits. It's like, oh, you have that music kit. That's sick. Whatever. Like music kits are another thing that, yeah, they add like maybe a little bit of fun to the game. But I, I if music kits didn't exist, I wouldn't really care that much. Graffiti sprays, all that stuff. If that stuff doesn't exist, I wouldn't really care that much. Uh, and I fear that keychains are going to go down that same route but um, obviously there has been more evidence of keychains uh, in here um, we have CE con item preview data block sticker keychains equals 20 so we have some of that there um, I believe a little bit further on he actually has uh, just some more information about uh, keychains being able to maybe be put like anywhere on your gun or maybe a couple different positions on your gun or whatever so maybe that's a way to add like some customizability or some uniqueness or some character or whatever but still overall I'm really not that excited for keychains I, I don't really care that much truly um, 
um, there are there is evidence, and I talked about this in my previous video. I think of people being able to make um, custom keychains, like uh, not custom, but community workshop keychains, stuff like that, which I do think should be a thing. And I hope the community gets a chance to you know create some more items and get them put in the game and stuff like that. We do have weapons keychains, uh, stuff like that, on top of weapon paint and everything. Uh, and I believe somewhere in here he has the name of a couple um, of the keychains that could be coming soon. Because again, he says uh, it is crazy because um, there are leaks and rumors and talk about keychains dating all the way back to 2017 again it's now 2024 seven years later um, but here is the names of a couple of keychains that were previously in the files at some point and some of the new keychains we could maybe expect and coming soon to the game um, the ak-47 keychain the banana the bloodhound the grenade the plasma ball and the sugar skull so if you're wondering what exactly keychains could possibly be coming um, that is there there is then also, and, and why I talk about keychains is because some people do believe that keychains are assigned that an operation could be coming soon because, hey, a new item class, a new type of item, whatever. Some people see keychains as the perfect um, operation item. I am a little bit skeptical and uh, maybe not so much on that same train, um, but some people are saying, hey, we have this new thing that could be coming soon to the game. Does that mean we could be getting a new operation soon? I don't know. There's some people saying that, but again, there is also some talk of the, that first operation in CS2 in this Gabe Follower video. Uh, there's new strings that have popped up in the proto buff of the latest CS2 update related to missions and quests and operations. This was from like about a month ago, so there, you know, whatever. But there is some server quest um, stuff going on, talking about um, you know stuff for potential operations. So a little bit more stuff in the code. Uh, and then there was also some anti cheat improvements that have happened over the past month as well. Again, I know we haven't gotten any huge new anti cheat updates or anything like that, um, but some anti some new anti cheat updates which are um, fixing some of the rapid fire cheats that have been going on in the game. Uh, and then fixing a couple other small anti cheats and stuff like that in the game as well. So hopefully those are all good signs. Uh, and, you know, that stuff could be getting us ready for like the, the Shanghai Major and stuff like that. But uh, then I saw this uh, tweet from Chinchilla is God who uh, had a hot take that got me thinking about operations. He says, very unpopular opinion. CS2 will never have an operation. The Anubis package made so much money. They are financially inclined to release any new items or content slowly over time as they did with Kilowatt and then Terra and Mills. New knives and maps used to be exclusive to operations. Now, this is very, very interesting to me because, again, when we knew this new uh, group of maps was coming uh, to CS2, we had like the five maps or whatever that got added recently. It seemed like that was the perfect time to put out an operation because obviously with the new operation comes all kinds of new content, a ton of new maps and whatever. Uh, and CS2 was desperate for a ton of new content. So why, if Valve was going to be putting out an operation relatively soon, would they have just released all those maps? Um, because are there really do they really have enough good high quality maps ready to go that they're going to release like four or five maps uh, a couple months ago and then now drop an operation with four, five, six, seven, eight, however many new maps are coming out in that as well. That made me a little bit skeptical, and that's why I'm kind of not expecting an operation anytime soon, maybe end of 2024, but maybe not until early or even mid-2025 at this point, really. Um, but, you know, this guy's right, uh, where they have made a ton of money by releasing the Anubis pack and just keeping the store forever and having a ton of people open those. You know, the unboxing numbers are actually pretty decent on that stuff, and it seems like people have really enjoyed, or at least for a short amount of time, uh, or a medium amount of time, or whatever, enjoyed the Anubis package with the kilowatt case, which we just got a new knife. So, again... Yes, CS2 needs a ton more content. We should get a ton more content, but it doesn't really seem like that's Valve's MO at this point to pump out a ton of new content. It doesn't seem like what they're interested in um, because so far the times that we've gotten new content has just been randomly giving us new maps, giving us a new knife in the kilowatt case, and then um, you know the kilowatt package also showing them that they can drop new weapons and stuff like that and just make a ton of money that way. So do they really need to do operations? Do they need to put all the time, work, and effort into something um, you know, that big and extravagant? Now, I do think that overall Valve still wants to do some kind of big new events. We even see them doing big new events and stuff you know, in, in the game like Dota 2, which is probably not even on the level of CS or you know, in terms of the moneymaker that, that CS2 is for Valve and, and the resources and time and money they put into it. Um, so I do think they do want to still do something big, but um, they definitely don't need an operation. They definitely don't need to do it anytime soon, even though the players you know, are kind of expecting that now this guy does respond i think keychains uh, point to an operation but the game is fucked anyway cheaters ramp it everything they touch they break boost game feels so much less smooth than csgo no new content 99 percent of skin still bo broken but as chinchilla says here and i kind of agree with this valve shipping keychains in a keychain capsule by themselves would be just as likely at this point um 2024 is a year of the game optimization new content is definitely on the back burner so again um 
do I necessarily believe that an operation is never coming out? No, but do I think that keychains um, prove to us that an operation is coming very, very soon? No, I don't. I think keychains are much more likely to be, like this guy says, some kind of keychain capsule um, that's just going to be a kind of permanently purchasable item in the store. And yeah, you're going to open up a capsule, you're going to get a random keychain, whatever, but um, there's going to be a couple keychains in that capsule and they're all going to be, you know, like unlimited quantities and unlimited supplies because that item's just going to be in the store forever. That's what I think Valve is going to be doing with keychains. And uh, I don't necessarily even believe that keychains coming soon is another sign pointing to an operation. Again, I don't think that means an operation is never coming. I do think Valve uh, wants to and needs to put on an operation at some point. But like they say, I do believe that right now um, they're they seem pretty focused on uh, not even seem pretty focused on because they're, they're taking their sweet time for sure. Um, they do seem focused on optimizing the game uh, and not just trying to push out as ton of uh, new content as they can. Uh, I'm sure in the coming months are going to be mostly focused on the Shanghai Major and making sure that goes off without a hitch. Uh, uh, but yeah, I definitely don't see um, this as some like big giant, you know, siren or red alarm in our face that, hey, keychains are coming. That means an operation's coming soon. Um, I, I definitely think keychains are going to be a much less big deal than that. Uh, and I don't think they're going to be some collectible item that's going to make you a ton of money. And I also don't think they're going to be some huge uh, operation item uh, either. So um, I guess that's kind of something to be watching out for. Um, we do have a ton of other kind of updates as far as some cool stuff and content that could hopefully be coming to see us too soon. Um, FM Pone uh, did shout out this new uh, map that uh, you know he was posting about um, saying that it looks pretty cool he gave it give it a hundred emoji um, from map core um, and it's uh, de coal line apparently and then uh, he also did post some new screenshots from cash as well which I'm very very excited for cash is one of my favorite maps in CS2 of all time he's been giving us a lot of screenshots and updates so that's something that could be coming to some kind of new update or new operation or whatever in CS2 sometime soon um, also Osni tweeted about the creator of the print stream uh, hinted at a success of the print stream coming this Friday so again that could be some new new content coming out um, soon, which could be cool. Um, so we have tons of awesome people in the community, tons of, working on tons of awesome stuff uh, with keychains and all this other new content coming out soon as well. But I don't necessarily mean, uh, I don't necessarily think that it means an operation is coming, uh, but I also don't believe an operation is never coming either. I think it is um, something important and necessary. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think an operation is ever coming out? Do you think it's coming out soon? Um, long time, medium time? I don't know. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Hopefully I catch you guys in the next one. Until then. Peace.